The hit series Outsider is in the midst of its second season, described by many as addictive. When it debuted, we visited with David Morse. Well, the most powerful man on the mountain is back with us today. Good morning, David. It's nice to see you. Good morning, Mary. It's nice to be with you. Well, we were talking here in studio. Has it really been a year since we talked to him? It felt like just a few months ago. Uh, time, time has flown here, but remind us about the concept and the idea behind this show. Okay, well, the, the, uh, the story takes place uh, around a clan, uh, the Farrell clan that's been up in the Appalachian Mountains for over 200 years, uh, a very unusual clan that's held on to old Celtic kind of traditions, um, you know, have a sort of an old tongue. The mountain is, is uh, you know, it has myths about having a magic on it, which we're never sure we really see or not. And to survive, they, they really are do pretty well for themselves up there uh, by themselves. But every once in a while, they have to go down in the town below and raid for, you know, some things. And the town sort of puts up with it. Uh, but then the coal company comes, mm -hmm. and they want the mountain. They tried to take it 25 years before. Now they're going to take it for real. Mm -hmm. Well, it, it is interesting that... We have so much talk happening um, now from different branches of government about that industry. And I know that has nothing to do with the show and, and how it was inspired, just coincidental. But I was reading about some of the, uh, the cliffhangers. Not, not specifically, but I'm wondering if you could shed some light on what's yet to come this season. Well, part of what the coal company has done, the coal company is, you know, they, they obviously are the, kind of the bad guys in this. Uh, they, they are pitting the town against the people on the mountain. They really are manipulating things. And they are putting a stranglehold on, on the clan on the mountain. They've fenced us off. They've uh, poisoned our water. They've killed our crops. They've killed some people. And, and, and they think that's how they're going to get the mountain back. Well, they're not going to get it back that way. We are, we are, it's all been building to this us coming down the mountain and, and, and really fighting back. And mm -hmm. that's where we're headed for the end of this season. Concussion, the Green Mile, the Rock, John Adams, St. Elsewhere. If we think about your resume, it's incredible. You've seen some excellent um, film and series opportunities. Why did you like Outsiders? Well, I think the same reason that the audience likes it, it's not something we've seen before. It, it, it really is, it's fun to do, it's fun to watch. Mm -hmm. At the same time, it really feels like stuff that's going on in our world. So you have that, 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 that combination of things that, that feel true and relevant, important, uh, um, and at the same time, we get characters that are, um, are just unique, mm -hmm. and, it, and it's fun to do it, and it's fun to watch it. You didn't come from a family of actors. I read your mom was a teacher. Your dad worked in sales. How did you end up in acting? Well, what happened is I, I was at, I was in, I'm going to say this, in eighth grade, <laughs> okay. Mrs. Baker, she, uh -oh. she wanted us to read a, all, all, you know, the, the, the class to read a play out loud. She asked me to read The Grandfather and On Borrowed Time. I was terrified. I read it and... I felt like I was finally myself. Wow. Um, I could not, I was both terrified she would call on me and desperate that she would call on me to keep reading this character, which she did. She kept asking me to read it. And by the time I got to high school, I met somebody else who also uh, um, just inspired me, saw you know what, whatever was in me, and uh, I've been doing it ever since. Wow, that's uh, an awesome testimony to good teachers <laughs> all these years later sure. we can still g give Truly. a shout out and look back to eighth grade catch outsiders on tuesday nights at eight o'clock on wgn america david morse thank you for joining us mary i'm happy to be with you thanks for having me mike over to you